and worse. There's some kind of bumper storm heading Ohio way tonight. Road conditions will become extremely hazardous as the evening wears on. But the best advice is to just stay home. Repeat, stay home. Any word from mom yet? Traffic advisors have just been issued. That'll be her. US 30. I wonder where she's stuck this time. And 42 are now being Hi, mom. Lisa, how did you know it was me? I just knew. Where are you? I'm at a gas station in Midvale. I'm having chains put on the car. I'm hungry, Mom. Okay, Joey. I have a couple of more things that I have to do. Uh, so I'll be home in about an hour, okay? Okay. Will you be all right for a little bit till we get home? Mom, I'm 11 years old, not a child. I'm starving. All right, I'll be just a minute. Mom, don't worry about a thing. Just take care of yourself and Joey, and dinner will be ready when you get home. Hey, we put on your chains. Your oh, chains. I, honey, I gotta go. They're, they're putting the chains on Joey now. They're what? I mean my car. My car. Uh, I gotta go find Joey something to eat. Okay? Great. Bye-bye. Okay, come on, Jaws. Feeding time. Finally. You didn't put these away again, Mary. I got you a great present. Don't ask what it is. It's a surprise. I bet it's a new blender. We could really use one for the family. Well, then what is it? I won't tell you. You're a rat. I love you, too. <laughs> it's a sled. A sled? I thought for a change you might want something fun. Oh, I think a sled's a terrific present. I love you. You're a rat. <laughs> okay, take it easy and watch TV until Mom and Joey get home, okay? Okay. Okay, there's no need to redecorate the house or anything before we all get back. Are you warm? Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, take care. <laughs> Attention, Christmas shoppers. Stuffed whales have just now been reduced to three dollars and ninety-eight cents, and out of eleven. Yes, sirree, we got a whale of a sale. Ho, ho, ho! Three ninety-eight. Out of eleven. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Mary. How you doing? Busy, busy, busy. Come on, come on, come on, you still a lousy whale. What do you think this is? Some kind of holiday? The top story here tonight in Cincinnati is the weather. And here's Gail with an update. As of 10 p.m., the giant Canadian storm continues to surge its way south. Blizzard conditions are now being reported from many areas in the Midwest. The high winds and heavy snowfall are expected to reach us here in the Cincinnati area during the next hour. Now, more local <laughs> Christmas pizza at Capone's before I drop you home. Jack, I don't think I could eat three pizzas. You said anything about three. 
I only got two of their offers. Oh, here we go again. The Delilah of the Five and Dime. Sorry, I tried to call, but the phones are down. Mary, you've got to come home right away. It said on TV there's going to be a big blizzard hitting Cincinnati in an hour. It's really bad. Did Mom and Joey get home? No, not yet. My Jeep's got four-wheel drive. I'll take you both home. Someone should tell Brian to close the store. That's like saying someone should tell King Kong to get out of the jungle. Anyway, here comes your big chance. Uh-uh, I'll come back for you as soon as he's gone, okay? Lisa, get down under the camera. I don't want him to see you here. Hi there, beautiful. I have been watching you uh, with the teddy bears. What do you think of running here, a charity bazaar? The merchandise was faulty. There was no refund. A customer took a punching bag in exchange and was quite satisfied. One thing I can say for you, Angela, is your personal merchandise is by no means faulty. But when I say push the teddy bears, I mean push the teddy bears. Clear? I'm not a salesperson, Mr. Barney. I'm customer service, and I was doing my job. Doing your job is pleasing me, which in your case would not be difficult, you know what I mean? No, I don't. You know, for a smart-looking girl, you're really pretty dumb. Don't you know it's better business to be nice to the boss than to some pretty stock boy with his fingers in the tail? Don't you talk to Mary like that. What the heck is that? That is my sister, and she is absolutely right. Mr. Barney, I suggest that you keep your smutty thoughts to yourself and stop making cheap accusations about a nice guy like Jack Fenton. Oh, yeah, well, with your attitude, you could be out of here real quick, you know that? With your attitude, I could be out of here right now. There's a blizzard out there. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm going to take my baby sister home. Mary. I know, I know. You're not a baby. You're 11 years old. And if you had any conscience, which I know that you don't, you'd advise all your customers to get out of here while there's still time. Come on, Lisa. Let's what? go find Jack. Oh, do what? Uh, and ruin my biggest one day ticket here? What are you, crazy? It's... Just like Barney. Fenton to the big guy. He's got it. Over the head, too. Come on, Jack. Let's go. What happened? I just told King Kong what he could do with his jungle. All right. <laughs> Good for you, pal. Oh, careful. I don't think His Majesty was too happy. Bears, bears, bears. Bears, bears. Oh, Miss Piper. What is it, Mr. Barney? I have a little Christmas present for you. You're fired. What for? What for? Why, for, for spreading panic among my customers over some two-bit snowstorm? And you're fired too, Fenton. And you, you're fired. Both fired. For sabotage. Oh, nothing to worry about, folks. No, it's just, just a little snowstorm. Please go. You go right on shopping. And, uh, and by the next hour, there is a free teddy bear with every purchase over $75. Monster. Nothing to worry about, folks. So that was just a false alarm. Please, uh, come on now. It's just a little snow. I mean, what do you expect? It's Christmas. Christmas time is snow time. And in no time, it'll be Christmas again. 
Congratulations, Miss Piper, on winning the first annual Sister of the Year award. Oh, Mary, a mountain master. They're the best, and so are you. <laughs> Put that back, you little freak. That's stolen property. It costs exactly half of the salary that you owe me, Mr. Barney. Well, you can sue me for the other half. Come on, Lisa. And you two. The two of you? You can sue me, too. That's just what we'll do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Stupid store forever! Ah! Careful! <laughs> Lisa, get in the back. Get that seatbelt around the sled, Lisa. It won't reach. here in Cincinnati. Welcome to glorious Cincinnati, queen of Ohio's Alpine Ski Resorts. I come from C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I Cincinnati, the best town in Ohio, USA. At first they called it Cincy, but since Cincy is so natty, they named it Cincinnati, so they say. Hey, the girls are pretty, pretty in this pretty little city.
I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, ow! Excuse me. Oh, uh, uh, here, let me help you out. I appreciate that. Thank oh. you. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, that's good. I'm Georgie Porgy, a chief taster at the Toyland Cookie Factory. Uh, here, have a, a raspberry ripple. It'll make you feel better. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, look. It's Humpty Dumpty. Oh, I know. Don't talk to him. He never stops chattering. He'll keep you there all day long. Hi, Humpty. Always a thrill to pass the time of day with you, Georgie. Oh, why are you in such a hurry? Oh, it's terrible. I'm going to a wedding. What's so terrible about going to a wedding? Excuse me, I thought they were supposed to be fun. Not this one. My best friend Jack's sweetheart, Mary, is about to marry that terrible mean old yicko, Barnaby. But she really loves Jack. I didn't quite follow that, but it does sound awful. Well, come with me. You can see for yourself. See the house on the hill? The bowling ball? That's Barnaby's house. All black three holes. He is so evil and so bizarre. Sometimes when he gets really angry, he rolls his house right down the street and knocks people over like they were nine pins. God, this guy sounds really weird. Why is Mary marrying this terrible old Barnaby instead of his friend? Because Barnaby bought the mortgage on her mother's house and said he'd throw them all out in the street if she didn't. Well, Mary's too loyal a daughter to let that happen. And what's even worse, Barnaby is Jack's uncle. Boy, for a child, it looks like so much fun. This is pretty strange stuff. Oh, I tell you. Being rotten is the only thing that makes Barnaby happy. And being this rotten, well, I've never seen him in such a good mood. Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> wedding song. Because there's nowhere to elope to. It's just that Toyland is surrounded by the forest of the night, the scariest place anywhere. And even if there were somewhere to elope, Mary daren't because of what Barnaby might do to her. I mean, we're talking serious villain here. That's Barnaby, with his two goons, Zack and Mac. But Mary's so young and pretty. She can't possibly marry a hideous creature like that. I told you it was a terrible wedding. Don't be a silly Billy.
Would you both please step forward? <laughs> Dear friends and neighbors, as justice of the peace of Toyland, it falls within my power to join this handsome couple. Well, anyway, uh, this couple in matrimony. Sadly, our beloved toy master cannot be with us today due to the immense burden of his Christmas toy making responsibilities. Who's the toy master? Oh, he's the most wonderful man in the whole world. Everybody loves him. But he did send the following message to the happy couple. If he's so wonderful, how can he let this wedding go on? I want uh, the two young people both to know that somehow or other, true love will always win through. Mary Contrary, do you take this man Barnaby to be your husband for better, for worse, through good times and bad, forever and ever, as long as you shall live? For bad times and worse, I do. Barnaby Barnacle, do you take Mary here to be a bride? To have and protect as long as you both shall live? I do, I do, I absolutely, yes, I do. <laughs> now, if anyone knows any just cause why Mary and Barnaby should not be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> In that case, I now pronounce you... But she doesn't love him! Huh? Who said that? I did! She loves Jack, and she really shouldn't be marrying you! Ah! Uh. Well, whoever you are, this is none of your business. Oh, Mary, you're really making a very big mistake. Lisa, you should come with me. And Mrs. Hubbard, you should be ashamed forcing your poor daughter to go live in a bowling ball just to pay your mortgage. If you know what's good for you, you little troublemaker, you'll keep your lips zipped. This imposter is not a citizen of Toyland. This is an invader. Get rid of her! Let go of me, you don't scare me. Who are you? I'm Lisa Piper, and I'm from Cincinnati. Cincy Watsky? You don't scare me, Mr. Barnacle. Let go of me. Well, whoever you are, you will regret the day you ever set foot in Toyland. Oh, no, I won't. Except for you, this looks like a wonderful place. And I'm glad I got here on the day Mary Contrary didn't marry you. <laughs> Let's hear it for Lisa! Let's hear 
it for the girl of the hour. Let's cheer it for the girl of the day. Let's cheer it till the rafters echo. And after the echo has died away, we still will sing. Let's hear it for the folks who love freedom. to extend a very special invitation to young Miss Lisa Cincy Watsky. <laughs> Come! We have business at the cookie factory. That's the forest of the night. Stay away from there, Lisa. Never go outside the walls of Toyland. Why not? Because it's filled with nightmare creatures and scary monsters. Oh, Georgie, that's just Barnaby trying to put you on. Oh, I don't think so. Maybe it would be better if you went back home, back to Cincinnati. I don't want to leave Toyland yet. I want to make sure you and Mary are happy and safe before I go. Then it's carried you with We all agreed Lisa stays. <laughs> You're welcome to stay with me for a few days if you can stand my mother. I'd love that. And next Wednesday... Jack inherits the cookie factory trust, so you certainly won't go hungry. You own the cookie factory? Well, not exactly. Nobody ever owns a toilet cookie factory. It's more like a sacred trust, which my family happens to have run for hundreds of years. Our whole economy is based on cookies. They're not just our food. We buy and sell and pay for everything in cookies. I should have become keeper of the trust when my father died, but Barnaby got a law passed saying I had to be 21 and married. So by noon, next Wednesday, Jack has to be standing on the steps of Town Hall, married to someone, but I'm not saying any names, Mary Katrina, in order to get the job. And if he's not? Then as my father's brother, Barnaby becomes keeper for life. And with our luck, he'll probably live to be 300 years old. <laughs> Thank you. 
I mean cookie break, cookie break. Take care of Jack, his plans, his marriage, and his friends. Yes! One week from today, and everything will be mine. <laughs> children she had to move into a pair of boots and we bought this one from her. Oh really? <laughs> Hi Gary. Hi Humpty. This is my new friend Lisa. We've met. Careful. You don't know who does. <laughs> I'm going to try and make an exception. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hubbard, but my mama always taught me to do the right thing. And that's what I did. Now, what I did was have children. So many children. All very adorable, of course. <laughs> this is Wee Willy Winky. Hi. Peter Piper. Jack. And Jill. Hi. Hello. Little boy Blue. Jack Horner. Hello. I forget who this one is, but you'll get to know all of them. Oh, now, very contrary, I have something to say to you. Now, what is it? Yes, number 11. How dare you not marry that nice, rich Mr. Barnaby? And you know perfectly well why not, Mother. Because I don't love him. I love Jack. And I've got Lisa to thank for saving me from making a terrible mistake. I think that we've had this discussion before, but I'm not sure. Let me check. I know I had something else I wanted to add. Yes, number 16. Why don't you keep your business out of other people's noses? I think I wrote that down wrong, but you know what I mean. Mrs. Hubbard, I think the same as your toy master. When two young people love each other, they should be allowed to be together. Oh, I will not allow such radical thinking in my school. And a mature man of the world like Mr. Barnaby should be free to marry a more elegant, glamorous woman of the world such as yourself. She talks a lot of sense, that girl. Hmm? I mean, that's not a half bad idea. One thing is for sure, He's got to marry one of us or we're out. 
in the street. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Hubbard. I'm sure we'll find one way or another for you to keep your house. Oh, I had an idea about that today, too. Yes, number 23. Sell the children. What? But not all of them. Just a couple of the little ones, no? No, Mama. Okay. Is that out? Is this an idea? Maybe the Toy Master could help us. Yeah, I really want to meet him. Oh, you will. He's the bestest person in all of Toyland. First, I think we ought to make sure that Jack and Georgie are okay down at the cookie factory. Okay, I want to see that, too. Okay, come on, let's take the cars. Oh, wow, what nifty little cars. Can I try the pink one? Well, sure. Can you figure the pedal? I'll try it and see. Yes, just. Ah, oh, well, that's the only requirement for a Toyland driver's license. <laughs> It's always daylight here. Well, if it's always daylight, how do you know when one day ends and another begins? You just start the day whenever you feel like it. That's why Toilet never has traffic again. It all started with daylight saving time. We saved it so much daylight that there wasn't any need for none. It was a Toy Master's idea. That's great. I mean, sensational. I mean, then there's no need for people to say it's too late for things like... You have to take a bath before it gets dark. But of course, out there in the forest at night, it's always night time. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Georgie. Wow. Oh, Nita. What a delicious smell. I'm starving. Well, that is the best way to come to the cookie factory. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to a big kiss? Hello, big kiss. You again! Since he wants me out the door! Or into the flower grinder, which shall it be? Uh... I think maybe out the door sounds better. Lisa's welcome here anytime she likes, whether you like it or not. Until next Wednesday, she may be. But after next Wednesday, it's over for all of you. We'll see about that next Wednesday. <laughs> Is grim. You've arrived just in time, thank heaven. Mm. Arrest that man. Georgie Forgy? No, imbecile. The other one. Your nephew? Yes, him. What are you trying to pull now, Barnaby? You want me to arrest your own nephew? That's what I said. On what grounds? What is all this? Just as grim. I regret to have to report a major robbery. Six months inventory is missing, involving millions, many millions of cookies. This is a very serious accusation your uncle is making. Search the place. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of, Justice Grimm. Why would I want to steal from myself? Tell me that. I'm the new trustee. Because you want to create a federal cookie deficit. Make them hard to get. Drive up the prices for all of the poor people in Toyland. It's a disaster for our economy. Excuse me, but I know Mr. Barnacle is not telling the truth. Jack would never do that. It is a totally ruthless, unscrupulous act. Completely devoid of all moral and social conscience. 
It's also a lie. An out and out lie! Justice Grimm, if you would be kind enough to follow me. Yes, please. Thousands of boxes of cookies gone. Who is responsible for their safekeeping? Uh, I am, but then I'm afraid this doesn't look too good for you, young man. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just the thought of all those poor little teddy bears going hungry is too much. I'm sorry. I have no alternative. Justice Scrim, you're making a big mistake. You're really locking up the wrong person. Just what exactly are the charges? Suspicion of grand cookie larceny. Get in. Thank you, Justice Grimm. This is a very painful moment for me, my own nephew, a criminal. I'll be down to file formal charges in about three minutes. doesn't look good but i'll think of something there must be something to do to save the day babes in the wood though that we may be this little baby is gonna find a way we're down in the dumps but we'll turn out trumps yet we'll all the bumps yet, yet we, we don't, don't know how. how it's worse than the mumps but we'll clear the jumps yet we'll man all the pumps yet we must start now right, right here, here and, and now. now just give me a moment and i'll think of something yes, yes we'll think, think of something we three together can do Hubbard, have you heard the news about Jack? Oh, do me a favor, leave me alone. I am depressed. I'm very depressed. He's been arrested. He's in jail. Big trouble. Really? Really. Well, things are looking up. Mm -hmm. Get you out. Lisa and George here with Justice Grimm now. Oh, he won't let me out. He's too afraid of Barnaby. I know. So we plan a jailbreak. What's a jailbreak? What's a jailbreak? I guess it's what people do who love other people so that they can be together. I just know Jack Nimble's innocent, Your Honorship. He wouldn't steal a cookie from a baby, let alone a whole factory full. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the way the cookie factory crumbles. <laughs> Little joke. Justice Grant. Hmm? Hmm? Has anybody ever told you about Cincinnati? No. Why should they? What are Cincinnati's anyway? Some kind of Italian cookie? I've never eaten any. No, you don't eat them. Cincinnati's a place, a very amazing, magical city. Tall, tall buildings reach right up to the sky. One of them is only 30 stories high. 
You mean 30 families living on top of each other? Exactly. Well, I heard of tall stories, but never one 30 stories high. <laughs> Another little joke. <laughs> what was that? Uh, one of the elephants at the Toyland Zoo has a very bad cold. Ah, mm. But let me tell you more about Cincinnati. On the outside looking in On the inside looking out Either way it's better to say That the feeling's not in doubt No way it's the feeling of Falling from a great height It's the feeling of flying it's the feeling of staring at a great white light There's no denying It's the feeling of such intensity It could knock down ten city walls It excites It enthralls It delights It appalls That feeling of floating on an ocean Full of warm emotions it's the notion of smoothing on a lotion Full of soothing potions A sensation that's so sensational It makes you hit the ceiling It's a joke, little love, like a boat from above It's the feeling It's the feeling Why? I'm not exactly cut out to be a hero. Oh, I'm thinking cut about three heroes out of you, old buddy. <laughs> Tell Lisa. Come on, let's go. And this guy, Pete Rose, hit the ball 4,192 times. And all the people stood up and cheered and made him the king of Cincinnati. I bet they did. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I really must be going now. But could I at least say goodbye to Jack? Of course, of course. I'm only sorry. This unpleasant incident. The keys! Where are the keys? He's gone? He's gone! What are you doing? I'm not in. I'm sorry, sir. That's the way the cookie kingdom crumbles. Ha <laughs> ha, a little joke. Bye. A little joke. Let me out. Jack, we gotta stop Barnaby some. I just know he wants to take over all of Toyland. The Toy Master would never let that happen. He let Barnaby put Jack in jail. Yeah, but the Toy Master doesn't know about that. Well, don't you think it's time he did? Yes, the, the Toy, Toy Master. Master. It's that wretched, interfering, sincy, wasky brat again. I think it's time I invited her and her friends over to play with my little pets. <laughs> be a pretty important person, the Toy Master. Well, let's put it this way. I don't think Santa Claus would let just anybody make all the toys for all the children in the world, do you? No. Oh, come in, come in. <laughs> you must excuse the mess.
Master. Forgive us for bursting in like this. We know it's your busiest time, but it really is important. Never too busy for you, Jack. It's always quite a pleasure. I was really expecting you. You were? Why? Well, there's very little goes by anywhere that I don't know about. The last one I heard say that was my principal. And there was a lot he didn't know. Toy Master, this is our new friend, Lisa. She comes here from a place called Cincy... 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 Cincy Cincinnati. I know about that. <laughs> you must be quite proud of Pete Rose. Toy Master. Toy Master. We don't know what to do with the eyes. Oh, eyes? Well, um, here. I... That's better. Now she can see and dance and smile. Huh, Lisa? Toy Master, we need to get some answers to some very important questions. Well, whether a doll can see is extremely important, Mary. <laughs> yeah. What's in those cabinets over there? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Something wonderful. Wonderful. Toy Master. <laughs> oh, you're right. They are wonderful. Yes. <laughs> They're my pride and joy. I bet sadly wooden soldiers aren't much in demand anymore. Children's tastes have changed. Nowadays they ask for the most peculiar presents. It's true. Most of the kids I know like the weirdest things, like death ray guns and outer space monsters. It's appalling. Toy Master, we've got to talk to you. Really, sir? For the sake of Toyland? Well, yes, I'm listening. Mother, we went up the hill for a pail of water, but Jack fell down and hurt himself. I did. I'll put an egg in your shoe and beat it. Get under the sink with the rest of the pipes. <laughs> Barnaby accused Jack of being a thief. Yes, stealing cookies from the cookie factory. And then Justice Grimm put Jack in jail. And then we just got him out. Ah, there they are. Zoom in, Trump. Barnaby, he's always been a handful. Even as a child. Handful? He's Major League Rotten. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, children. Actually, a very big secret. A secret I've never shared with anyone before. What secret? Still its essence, and I seal it in here. In this green bottle? Boy, would Barnaby like to get his hands on that? Don't worry, Georgie Porgy, you great fat lump. Barnaby will. I knew that old wizard was up to something, and he's been doing it all for Barnaby. Ah, <laughs> My boy. <laughs> you can't collect all the evil in the world. There's no bottle big enough for that, of course. But there's room enough in this one for Barnaby's. And somehow we'll get it. Because then and only then will Toyland ever really be safe. Do you really think you can do that? Of course, my child. There's no doubt about it. It won't be easy. But then again... 
worthwhile things never really are. You simply have to believe that they are possible. Georgie, where'd you get that cookie? Uh, I found it on the floor of the cookie factory. There were just two left. I thought they might be evidence. Georgie, you're eating the evidence. Georgie's right. They are evidence. If you can show us exactly where you picked those cookies up, Georgie, I'll guarantee you there's another clue close by. And we're going to find it. Come on. Nice meeting you, tour master. We'll let you know what happens. All right. Keep in touch, eh, children? Okay. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yes, Christmas. I want you to show me exactly where you picked those two cookies up. Okay, right this way. Okay. I'll search Barnaby's office. Great. Don't forget to look in places like papers and trash cans, because in Cincinnati, that's the way the policemen solve crimes, by looking for things in peculiar places. Well, we're going to find something, too. We better, or we'll all end up in jail.
so much more evil to create. So little love and so much hatred to release. We won't tell the police. The best is yet to be unfurled. The day my special evil rules the world. Horrendous spiky monsters curl around my feet. How sweet! I'll lie and kill and steal and cheat. To make my evil life complete. I'll build a world with no more toys Pure hell for little girls and boys Those gap-toothed, grabby little geeks <laughs> I'm creating a masterpiece All right, boys, give the others you know what to do. What about the others, Barnaby? Oh, Jack. I always like to make plans for my friends. If you so much as lay one finger on Mary, I'll... Oh, you know me better than that. I never use violence, no matter how enjoyable. Unless there's simply no other way. Which, in this case, there is. You are going to write a sweet little note to Mary Contrary telling her that unfortunately you don't love her anymore. Ha! I'm not writing anything. You are right! But I tell you to write! You know what I think? I think what you really want is to destroy Toyland. On the contrary. I plan to own it. And when I do, there'll be some very interesting changes. Move my dead butt! If necessary, yes. Everything Lisa warned us about you is true. Oh, I hope so. You run this rotten, evil forest, and you stole all those cookies to discredit me and feed things like that? I no, 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 throw off, no. That won't be necessary. No, no. We don't want to damage Mr. Nimble's writing hand, do we? If you don't write that letter, I'll have Mary brought down here and turned over to my creatures. You wouldn't, wouldn't I? Look into my sweet Trelloc's eye. In a few moments, Mary will start searching near the trap door. All I have to do is signal Zack and Mac to gag her, bring her down here. For an evil person, I'm really very well organized, don't you think? I'll read the letter. Ah. Thank you, Jackie. Where's Jack? Oh, Mary! I don't know. I looked everywhere for him, and I can't find him. I looked for him back here in the storeroom, and I can't find him. Jack! 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 Ah! 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 We triggered the alarm. Wait, we got to find a way to turn it off. How do we stop it? it? Everything, and none of it's good. Help! Help! Unlock me. Quick, on. Quicker! You don't dare! Quiet! Quickly! Quickly! Move on! Move on! Go ahead! Oh. All right. Where is he? 
I can explain everything. It's all my fault. I'm the guilty one. I was the brains behind the breakout. You couldn't be the brains behind a cup of coffee. Justice Grimm, you're really making a very big mistake. Jack just disappeared. Not as much as he's going to disappear when I get my hands on him. Believe me, Justice, Jack is innocent. There's only one villain that you should be looking for, and that's Barnaby. Be that as it may. The law is the law. If you really want to uphold the law, you'll arrest Barnaby and not Jack. I believe this letter Jack left will explain everything we need to know. Ah, Mary, my dear. Dear Mary, Jack asked me to give you this letter. My guess is he wasn't man enough to give it to you um, himself. It's Jack's handwriting. When did he write this and where is he? Is he all right? My dear Mary, by the time you read this, I shall have left Toyland forever. I will learn to live with the guilt of what I've done. The great cookie robbery has made me rich for life. And I plan to start a new life in the world beyond the forest of the night. Don't ever try to find me. Our love, like my life in Toyland, is over. Goodbye, Mary. And goodbye to all my former friends. Jack. Well, I guess that just about wraps up this case. Wouldn't you say, Justice? No, I wouldn't say. This is a signed confession. I'm sorry, kids. I'll have to keep it. Now you'd all better leave Mr. Barnacle's premises immediately. Or I'll have to arrest you for aiding and abetting a criminal. Take me home, Lisa. Don't you just arrest that little alien from the planet Cincinnati and that fat nincompoop, and I'll be able to take care of Mary? Uh, do you anticipate the wedding will be on again? Oh, there's no doubt about it. Oh. I mean, didn't you see the twinkle in her eye every time she looked at me? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I miss that. Well, on Wednesday... At noon, when we get married, and I become permanent supervisor of the cookie factory, you will see her absolutely light up. Then you, Justice Grimm, will get the best view because you are going to be marrying us. No, I just love weddings. Good. Good. Let's, let's just hope that this one goes a little more smoothly than the last one. I think hate to turn it into a funeral. You know, you know what I mean. Yes, I do. Barnaby. Ugh. Leave this to me. Yes? You? Well, hello, Mr. Barnaby. Where's my darling Mary? Oh, I'm afraid she's not at home. She'll be so sorry to have missed you. I brought these lovely flowers for her. Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be sure to tell her. She's going to be really thrilled. I don't know what it is about you, Mr. Barnaby, but you sure know how to charm the ladies. I do. Well, yes, of course I do. Not only have you got Mary thinking twice, but you've got her mother, Mrs. Hubbard, all jealous about it. You sure are a devil with the ladies, Mr. Barnaby. Bye. <laughs> For you. For me? 
Yes. Well, they're lovely. Who sent them? Mr. Barnaby Barnacle. He admires you very much, but he just doesn't know how to tell you. That dear, sweet, shy, foolish boy, he can tell me any time he wants. Pick up my thing. Thank you. Fatty. The answer is no. Wherever Jack is, he's not in Toyland. I've looked everywhere. He's just not here. Uh, he has to be. He wouldn't just leave Mary. And that stuff in the letter about going to a place beyond the forest of the night, I don't believe it. Well, he's gone, Lisa. Believe me. I know every foot of Toyland, and he's just not here. The letter's real. It can't be. But it is. There's one place we haven't looked. Where? The bowling ball. I I've got a hunch about it. Let's go. From an admirer. Barnaby's house before. It could be very dangerous. Don't whip out now, Georgie. I'll go. I'm not scared. I'm not a child. No, I'll search it. You two stand guard. But wait a minute. Something I'm sorry, Lisa, but it's time I did something besides cry. going to come after you. I know that. Enjoy yourselves, my dears. This is the last time you'll ever touch one another. Where are we? What is this terrible place? Well, it may not be everybody's taste, but we call it home. Don't we, sweet Trolla? You promised me if I wrote that letter, you'd leave her alone. So what? I once promised Cholag he'd grow up to be cute. <laughs> oh, in case you're worrying where we're going, we're off to pay a visit to your old friend, the Toy Master. <laughs> the very first to see it. My newest creation. Toy Master, for once I think there's something more important than a new toy. Jack and Mary have both disappeared, and the way things are looking, we could all end up disappearing. Oh, my poor Lisa, I can see that you're very upset. Yes, I am very, and this is no time for anybody to be playing with toys. Not even you. Excuse me, Toy Master, we don't mean to be rude. It's just that we're both very concerned. 
Well, it's a very tricky time around here right now, working 24 hours a day and all. And Santa Claus will be by soon to pick up his Christmas toys for the children of the world. We'll just have to manage, eh? Toymaster, I don't think you really realize what's going on in Toyland. The whole place is in great danger. And you must do something right away. You really must. Well, what exactly did you have in mind? Well, for instance, don't you have the power to turn Barnaby into a... a wind-up pussycat or something? I mean, I don't think you realize how evil he is. Oh, but what if there's still some good inside of him? There's no good in Barnaby, sir. Lisa, I'm afraid that's not precisely true. The struggle between good and evil goes on inside of everyone. Not in me, old man. Zack, Matt. Lisa, get careful. Run, get out of here. Get out. No, be careful. Leave me alone. Come on, get back here. Please. Please. Toy master. Level with the toy master. Don't you hurt the toy master? I hurt the toy master. This is a great moment for you, maybe. It's mine. It's all mine. Oh, the beautiful flask of evil. You don't need any more evil, Barnaby. You've got enough of your own. Barnaby Barnacle, don't you dare touch a hair on that child. I'm not a child. <laughs> You're wrong, my interfering little Cincy Watsky. I will use every ounce of evil the Toy Master has so kindly been collecting for me. Every last drop. Barnaby, what is it exactly that you want? Did Santa Claus bring you enough toys last Christmas? I don't want toys, you old imbecile. I want Toyland. All of it, and it shall be mine. And come that happy day, there will be no more toys. No more cookies. No more sunshine. But my world, a new world, Filled with darkness, death, and destruction. <laughs> oh, I am really looking forward to that. Barnaby, you are a taker in the land of giving. Don't you realize you can never conquer Toyland? Never. <laughs> we will see about that, old man. They're all yours, Trollog. Enjoy your little treat. What are we gonna do? I would suggest we try and escape. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <Ooh. sighs> 
I shall have this little surprise put out into the forest of the night. Lisa, you and Georgie must find a way to get the flask of evil back. You must? Why us? What? Well, because I am old and you are young. And the challenge of protecting good from evil eventually always falls to the young. Even here in Toyland. This is how we protect our traditions. In that case, we'll get that flask back for you. No matter what we have to do, we'll get it back. Georgie, are you crazy? You're supposed to be the scaredy cat. I am scared, Lisa. But I'm more scared of Barnaby having the flask of evil. That really terrifies me. Ah, Georgie, you are a very brave fellow. Lisa, come on. I won't be able to go along with you on this one. You and Georgie will have to do this yourselves. I have many treasures here, and I must guard them. Okay, you're the Toy Master. Come on, Georgie. Thank you, Toy Master. Oh, you're quite welcome. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yes, Christmas. <laughs> Dash right out of here and thank you for your lovely flowers. Flowers? I didn't send you any flowers. This woman is crazy. Oh, you silly shy boots. My first husband was very shy, too. You know, I find shyness the most attractive trait in a man. So how do you like my new dress? It's attractive, fine, but right now I'm in a big hurry. Would you like to drop by my shoe? I've got some fine gumdrop wine. I'm a teetotaler. Oh, all right, then tea it is. No, really, I have no time. Well, who's that adorable little pet of yours? What is it, a Pekingese? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Trollog is a dwarf troll. Oh, it must be a very rare species. Yes, yes, indeed, unique. And I suppose to you, a man's best friend is his dwarf troll. He has his uses. You might say he's more like my watchdog. Did you ever find all of those those missing cookies? I was just so yes, indeed, upset I have. Yes, I have that little mystery. Yes. I have that little mystery well under control. Now, now, huh? If you will excuse me. Oh, such a handsome man like you. You shouldn't have to work so hard. You shouldn't have to do it. Well, thank you. You are a very attractive woman yourself, now that I see you out of your usual heavy-duty gingham. You know what touched me most about those flowers were the lilies. Oh, the trumpets, such trumpets, such trumpets. <laughs> come on. Bye bye, shy boots. You come back soon. Oh. Bring back that cute little dwarf, Pollock. I'll buy the pink bow. Till we meet again, my sweet. George, you've suddenly gone from being jelly like Superman. You saw Barnaby with that hideous trolley thing? Where we're going is where things like that are. That's a good reason for not going there. But don't you see? That's where Jack and Mary are. In the forest of the night. George, you're a 300 pound genius. Don't you think we should be armed or something? Good idea. Rose. What's the matter? Oh, I'm just suddenly missing Cincinnati for the first time. I'm missing something, too. Some plain old common sense. Lisa, you're not coming with me. 
You've already done enough, and I'm not going to let you risk your life. Now it's just me. But Jack and Mary... my responsibility. They're my friends, too. I know. And I'm not a child. To a world I plan to see again someday But when, who can say I guess when I get the itch When I work out which world is which I live in two this late if they've harmed my precious little baby I'll make them pay a terrible price all right it's almost time sweethearts just be patient a little while longer soon we will have it all all you hear me endless power for every one of us yes Trelag, please, Trelag, come. Jack, I'm so scared. Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. What can you do against a pack of monsters like that? Outthink them, outrun them, escape. But the one thing we can't do is panic.
welcome. We've been expecting you. I wish we could say we are glad to be here. I'd watch my manners if I were you, Cincy Waski. Now that I have this and my loyal legion of lovely pets waiting. He's got trolls, hundreds of ugly trolls who eat all the cookies. Yes! And just one small dose of these precious evil vapors and they will be unconquerable! I will be master of Toyland. You're the monster of Toyland, Barnaby. How could you ever wish evil on the most wonderful place that ever existed? You're insane! Well, yes! Now, I want you all to try it. You'll like it. And it was you, Cincy Watsky, who cost me my beloved Trelog. So I've decided to turn you into him. Look, Uncle Barnaby, if you want the factory, take it. Just don't harm my friends. Jack, just a few words of this. And you will all become Barnaby servants. You will all become creatures of evil. <laughs> you be my guest. Don't breathe it. Just don't breathe it. What are we supposed to breathe, Jack? I thought you loved Mary. I love her even more. As my troll princess. <laughs> You will be my favorites, my new favorites. <laughs> and now I'll go give my other little pets so you all can meet each other. <laughs>
Excellent. Now you are free to join the other troll comrades. However, I like. <laughs> Beautiful as a warmonger. Okay, gang, let's move. Ah. Ah. All right, I try to do things nicely. But no, uh, now it's war. You hear me? Come on! You gotta do it! 
I'm afraid of. He's man of peace and this is war, Mary. This could be the end of the boy land. gotta be something I have only toys here toys cannot protect us from anything as long as there is one person within these walls who can't believe in them who doesn't believe in toys there is one person who was never really a child 
life made her grow up too fast. And so she could never really believe in toys or childhood. It must be you, Lisa. Me? You're always saying I'm not a child. And I guess maybe you never have been. I think that he's right, Lisa. Lisa, listen to me. I know there's not very much time, but I'm not the one who can save Toyland. You are. Only you. But what do I have to do? Simply believe. Believe in Toyland and all that it stands for. As long as you cannot believe in Toyland, I'm afraid everything is lost. If you can see through the eyes of a child The wonderful world that children see Believe you me, you will never grow old You will always be free to be beguiled If you can think with the mind of a child and be lost in fantasy Believe you me That's more precious than gold You will always hold In your childlike mind Precious dreams Other folks don't find If you, like me Can think and see the wandering, wandering eyes and mind of a child. Do you want to believe, Lisa? Yes, I do. More than anything. I guess life just made me grow up too fast. I do still have my teddy. I kept teddy. Did you hear that, everybody? She kept her teddy. Yes, I kept my teddy, and I miss him. He guards over my little brother, Joey. Then you do still remember how important toys can be, Lisa. Say that you really remember, Lisa. Remember, Lisa. Say, Say that you, you remember. remember. Yes, I do remember. Toyland has made me remember. I always wanted to be a kid. I always wanted to play with toys. I believe in all of you. And I am still just a kid. I really am.
Christ! Now you come with me and be my troller! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Not quite yet, Uncle Barnaby. <laughs> Jack, not be nimble. Jack, be dead. He's the one to play for this horrible mess. No one else. I'm so gonna get you. Simply watch me, Brad. I'm gonna get you. Barnaby Barnacle, you still haven't learned, have you? For your evil against Toyland, you are hereby banished to the forest of the night. Forever. Do that to me. He can't. I don't control them anymore. Officer. Soldiers free. You have to answer two questions. First, are you 21 years old? No, but I will be tomorrow. Second, are you married? No, but I will be tomorrow. That's good enough for me. <laughs> then, by virtue of the power vested in me as justice of the peace of Toyland, and based on the most cherished wishes of your beloved father, Jack Nimble Sr., I hereby proclaim that the sacred trust of the cookie factory now falls under your benevolent supervision. <laughs> I can't believe it's all finally worked out and the trust is safe again. I declare tomorrow to be Toyland's most delicious wedding day. Years to come be 
contrary, Hubbard. Take this man, Jack Nimble Jr., to be your husband, to love and cherish and give him a lot of fun and love with your whole heart till the end of time. I do. And you, Jack Nimble Jr., do you take the breathtaking Mary to be your beautiful, loving wife from this moment on, to love and be unbelievably kind to, to share the joys of Toyland and all your hopes and dreams with forever and a day? It's not long enough, but I do. Then, by virtue of the almost unlimited power vested in me by the Toy Master, I now pronounce you man and wife. so bad. But just when I was really beginning to get the hang of being a kid, I thought I could just go home and feel the same way I do here and now. Hmm. Well then, don't be in such a hurry to become an adult. It'll all happen quite soon enough, believe me. And one day, when you're all grown up, you must remember to keep the child in you alive. Will I always be able to do that? Of course, forever. You must. It'll come in very handy around income tax season or on very rainy days. And most important, you will never grow old. If you can think with the mind of a child, believe and be lost in love. That's more precious than gold You will always hold in your childlike mind Precious dreams other folks don't find If you, like, like me, me, can think and see Child. 
your plant at Cincinnati, hmm? I'll be waiting. Lisa, what am I going to do without you? How can we ever thank you? Oh, dear, I hate goodbyes. I never really did like that Barnaby. Would you like to come by my shoe for dinner sometime? I'd be delighted. Can I have a say goodbye to the Toy Master? Well, well. You should have a nice trip, Lisa, if you don't mind a few bumps. He's upstairs sleeping, warm and toasty in his little bed. We're just so happy that you're all right. Oh, Mary, Jack and George, you're all here. I'm so happy to see everybody again. I was in this town filled with talking toys and, and Mother Goose people, and horrible monsters tried to eat me alive. Well, of course they did, honey. That reminds me, I must call the pest control people. Oh, but Barney from the store was the worst monster of the lot. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, he was. He was. Oh, Lisa, you shouldn't say things like that. You're a very lucky little girl after what happened to you tonight. I just wish you could have all been there and met the Toy Master. He's the most wonderful man I've ever met. And I live in the heel of a big shoe. And I had so many wonderful, wonderful friends. Of course you did, honey. They told me, you know, that you bumped your head a little. Yeah, that was some sled ride you had. But I'm fine now. We were all so frightened when you went flying out of that jeep. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm sorry. I just couldn't get to the sled and... Oh, don't be sorry, Georgie. I've had the most wonderful time I've ever had in my whole life. Oh, my. The tree is so beautiful. 
as beautiful as all the things the toy master taught me. Oh, he must be a very wise man. He was. He taught me that it was in our hearts that we must stay young and try to be good. And above all, we must believe. And then we'll always have a Merry Christmas and everything, won't we? Always and always and always. Spectacular movie premiere. Drew Barrymore is the little girl who must save Toyland from the clutches of evil. I want everyone destroyed. Who are you? She's Toyland's only hope, but she'll need the help of the karate kids, Pat Morita. You must remember to keep the child in you alive. Richard Mulligan is the evil Barnaby, and Eileen Brennan is Mother Hubbard in this holiday musical for kids of all ages. The all-new Babes in Toyland. Babes in Toyland, sponsored in part by McDonald's, where it's a good time for the great taste. And by Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles. Happy holidays from your friends in Bedrock. Babes in Toyland will return after these messages. We now return to Babes in Toyland. Babes in Toyland will return after these messages. We now return to Babes in Toyland. The NBC Movie of the Week will return following these messages. Babes in Toyland continues. Starring Drew Barrymore, Eileen Brennan, and Richard Mulligan. Tonight, the king of late night, Johnny Carson, welcomes the one and only Bob Hope and singer Barbara Mandrell to The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson. Then, sports commentators Bob Costas and Ahmad Rashad talk about hits with the Mets' Ron Darling on Friday night videos. With music videos from Van Halen, the Pointer Sisters, Bruce Springsteen, the Bangles, and more. Tonight on NBC. NBC. 